Well, in the year 2000, uh, 50 Cent dropped a song called Ghetto Quran. And there's a line in there that says, yo, rest in peace to Rich and Ron. Money what they was about, yo. And, and the Rich was a shout out to, to Rich Porter. Ron, they're not quite sure who, who that is. I don't know if he meant Donnell or he maybe got the name wrong. Um, I don't know. But, but it, was, it was a shout out to Rich Porter in that song. There's you, plenty of people that shout out Rich Porter. What other songs? Cent, Jay-Z, Puff Daddy. He was, what, money-making Mitch. Yeah. Jim Jones. I mean, we could do the drop where you put in a name and see how many people yeah. m make the mention of Mitch, Rich Porter. And that's a long going saying, it's always rich. Yeah. It's always the other guy. I think the life lost here really is Darnell. Yeah. Like, talk about him. Well, two years later in 2002, the Paid in Full movie got released. Uh, were you depicted in the movie? Yes. Okay, who played you? Um, Regina. Uh, Regina King? No, Regina Hall. Regina Hall, sorry. What was that like to see a, a great actress like Regina Hall play you? She wasn't even acting then. That was her, her first movie, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was her first movie. And and actually, like, sh she was talking to me because initially Eve was supposed to play me, I heard. Oh, okay. So over the weekend, I was supposed to be meeting up with Eve, but I don't know. They probably, I don't know what happened there. But... The next day, it was Regina Hall who called me and me and her talking. She was actually a professor at the school that I used to go to. Mm. And she recognized my voice over the phone. How cool. She's a, a voice person. Like, I could see you and know who you, your face is. I might not be able to say Vlad, but I'll remember your face. Like, I know you from... She was a voice person and remembered my voice. Were you actually on set when they were filming Paid in Full? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how was that to see the 80s recreated and, and everything else like that? That was, it was good. It was fascinating. Like, wow. Because they did a good job there with recreating the 80s with the cars mm -hmm. and the jewelry and the dressing. Yeah. They did that well, whoever cast them. Shout out. Uh, well, uh, Mackay Pfeiffer played Rich Porter. Do you think he nailed it or not really? I think he did a good job. I think so, too. I mean, I didn't know Rich at all, obviously, yeah. but... Yeah, it became he, an iconic I character. I think all the actors that portrayed the characters did a great job. What do you think of Wood Harris uh, playing AZ? He, he, he did. I mean, he didn't look like him or anything to me, but like Denzel Washington don't always look like a lot of people he portrayed. Yeah. But he nails the part of the person that he's portraying. That's how I feel about Wood Harris. Like, yeah. I met him, Ake pulled up with him. He's like, yo, you know who this is, right? No. He was like, this is me. <laughs> I'm like, this is you? He's like, yeah, this is the guy that's playing me and paid him for. I'm like, oh, okay, hi. <laughs> well, Makai Pfeiffer actually kind of looks like Rich Porter, though. I feel like more so than Wood yeah, Harris and AZ, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yes, I could say that. And then he was from Harlem, like, Makai, he he knew the story. He heard of it. He was around, so he gave like the same with Cameron. Yeah, and Cameron played Alpo. Mm -hmm. And I used to see him on set and tell him I couldn't stand him. <laughs> what did Cameron say? Huh? What did Cameron say? He, he just laughed. He laughed. Like, chill, yo, come on, Ben. I'm just playing the role. <laughs> but I can't stand you. You're doing it too well. Uh, AZ said he was a little upset that they had him cooperating at the end of the movie, which ultimately didn't happen Yeah, but happen a lot of life. the movie wasn't, like, people fail to realize that when movies are made and it says based on a true story, mm -hmm. it's not all truths. Yeah. Like, it was some parts that were hit, nailed, and there were some parts that was implicated and made up. That's what makes a great movie. Right, because the... You know, Uncle Johnny was played by, like, basically a crackhead that lived yeah. with your mother, which wasn't really the case. No, and they dragged it, but it still was made for a great movie. Yeah. People love it because it's a great movie. But if it's your real life 
and it's supposed to be setting the tone for your real life, you know, what? <laughs> Hell to, but it's okay. Well, it became uh, a cult classic. People still watch it to this day. And, you People know. People really don't know us. Yeah. The truth. Yeah. You know, I mean, it almost became mean. It was like whenever something would happen to someone, it'd be like, they show the camera on me. Oh, dudes get shot every day. He'd be all right. <laughs> like yeah. it, it became iconic. There's iconic lines in it. Exactly. 